All right, YouTube, we're, uh, know somebody lost their box spring and then somebody else hit it out here in the road. Anyway, good evening, YouTube. It's 5.03 on a Sunday afternoon. Beautiful afternoon. Had an awesome weekend. We went and saw a bunch of car show stuff and, and uh, had a good time out at the Adirondack National Car Show. Participated in some burnouts. Uh, saw some burnouts, saw some beautiful, beautiful cars. And then we go home to get a whole bunch of stuff done. That semi truck blew his tire mustache from running over that uh, box spring in the road. Yep. That sucks. Okay, so we go to go to Home Depot. We leave because we need a toilet. Our toilet started leaking. It cracked and leaked, so... We're heading out to buy another one, and a couple of things hit me all at once. It says, I went to start the Suburban the other day, which is going to be my winter driver, because we don't drive either one of our K5 Blazers in the summer. And um, Winter. Yeah, in the winter. We don't drive either one in the winter. You said summer. I said summer. So, I went to start it, and I knew I was going to have to do a, a flex plate in it. And, and the motor had really low oil pressure last time I drove it into town all the way to, to Queensbury. So I'm thinking, you know, I was just going to change oil and change flex plate. But I went start, it wouldn't start. I could hear the fuel pump kick on. Everything's looking good. And uh, it just wouldn't start. So I went, got the jumper box. I said, I'm sure it's not it, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Maybe the battery's dead. They don't even click. So, it probably meant that the starter went out all the way. So, the starter has lifetime starter on it, so I'll be able to get the starter for free. The only thing I'm concerned with is, is I'm very limited on time. My time has to be spent very, very meticulous to to get done all the because I, I uh, we accomplished a lot we're gonna start going 55 through here me and my wife accomplish a lot we get a lot done um, so I, I can't spend I need to spend my time efficiently so you know it was okay to change out the flex plate take a day maybe a day and a half I like to say oh it's only a three or four hour job which should be, but you know, it never works out that good. So then I said, well, I'll just change the oil, put some thicker oil in it, and try to get a little bit more oil pressure, which maybe isn't even low. Maybe it's just a faulty gauge or something. I don't know. Maybe it just needs oil change, but now it don't start. So um, I got to thinking, and I remember seeing a 79 C10 Chevy pickup listed in the uh, uh, for sale in its beautiful truck blue and uh, uh, with a white stripe and it has all the uh, stainless trim on it still being in New York it's still got a little bit of rust so just something we have to deal with but it's two-wheel drive of course because I said it was a C10 and a half ton look at that convertible Cadillac is that pearl on there Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so I remember the 79 C10 automatic turbo 350. Probably. I haven't, I haven't asked, but probably turbo 350. <laughs> and uh, a 350 motor. And I said that's super basic, super clean, super simple. You know, we we just have our one daughter now. Our son's gone at home, so we barely ever need to have more than three people in a truck. But we usually drive this anyway. So the guy wants fifteen hundred bucks. Not really willing to pay fifteen hundred bucks right now. I don't quite have that much in the budget set aside. But I'm gonna go down and talk to him 
and uh, and see what we come up with. It's supposed to have a, uh, a leak in the radiator, which he said it wasn't driven with the leak in the radiator, so we just have to check that and see. And then he said it's got brand new uh, transmission lines because one started to seep a little bit. So transmission lines don't take that long to replace. He said the brake lines and the fuel lines are all good. Uh, floors are good. They're not all rotted through. It does have a little bit of rust, which I'm really not that concerned with. I'm looking for a winter vehicle. So four-wheel drive would be better. But the thoughts of this 79 C10, this truck's absolute, it's, it's pretty. It's, it's beautiful blue, blue and white. So um, we're on our way. Um, and um, since I'm not able to edit real good, I don't have my um, GoPro ready stuff. So I'm just going to let you go with that. And we will uh, uh, let you know if we end up buying it or not. So. Um, like or dislike, do one of the two. Comment, say, you know, you should get a four-wheel drive because it's winter.